So what are some of the tips that you guys could give anybody listening that um, if they're struggling to find ways to keep God first, what's something that they can do to start? Well, I, th I think one of the things that I know that I've struggled with in the past is when people say God family business, it's like, well, is that like a time thing? Do I need to have more time that I spend with God than I do with my business? And do I need to spend more time with God than I do with my family? Like when people look at, you need to prioritize God first, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're praying for eight hours a day or reading the Bible for eight hours a day. I think that's one thing that is easy to get caught up on and be like, well, I, I can't do that. And for me, one of my, one of my challenges and struggles uh, even, even recently is like, well, I have all this work that I need to do to be able to provide for my family. I don't have time to, you know, spend time reading the Bible this morning or listening to a good sermon or spending 10 minutes in prayer. Like I, I have to get to these things. Obviously that's a, that's a lie. It's not true, but I like what you said and I've experienced the same thing. It's like you can prioritize something early in the day that that goes a very long way in setting up the rest of your day and God can do bigger things in our lives than we can do on our own. We all know that. So it's like, if you're spending time in the word and praying, you know, who's to say he's not going to do something big in your life that you couldn't have done if you worked for 16 hours that day. Again, not a, not a prosperity type of preaching, but I mean, he can do those things if he wants to do them. So yeah, it's that's a, a couple of things I've experienced. I think that's, that's so true. Um, you know, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier when you said, if it's, if it's going to be, it's up to me and we get so focused on me. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. Um, I'll tell you something recently where, you know, I, I, uh, I look at my stuff with YouTube as like, this is my God project. You know, this is, uh, this is something that I enjoy doing that helps spread the gospel, helps bring awareness to, you know, Christian perspective, but I can kind of turn it into an idol sometimes, you know, the, the actual YouTube thing. And I'll put like all this effort into a video and like nothing happens, right? I'll do a five minute, take me five minutes to make a video. I did a five minute video. It's got 6 million views. And like, that's, that's got nothing to do with me. You know, like I, that, that was the worst video that I think I've ever made. And it's, it's 6 million views. So I know it's a it's a horrible metaphor for that, but in the same way, like I'm, I'm saying this because it's like the algorithms, right? So you could work, 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 and the algorithm don't pick it up at all. Like it just does not pick it up. But you could just put something stupid into it, and the algorithm, boom, just takes it. God is like the ultimate algorithm. You know, He can just do it. You could spend hours and hours and hours and hours a day working on something and get no results. And then God's just like, now's the time, boom. And then that one person comes into your organization or that you get that one phone call about a deal that's going down that you now get to be a part of, or you get, it, it's just our reliance gotta be on him and and not what we're doing. So Lorenzo, what's, what's some things that you do in order to keep God first? Thanks so much for watching that clip from the Why Jesus podcast. If you wanna see the full episode, Click right here and you can also find us on all streaming services. God bless.